This is an absolute gladiator battle right here. Whoa! Explode that back bumper! This the same sh man. Look at this, it's a sold out crowd. Welcome to the streets of Long Beach. This is Formula Drift, and we are on the streets of Long Beach for the first round, celebrating 20 years of FD, baby! It's 2023, we're back in Long Beach. It's such an iconic spectacle, go drifting. There's so much cool, high energy and hype around the event. I love this place. The fact that you're in this downtown shadow and you get to have these crazy, loud, wild cars ripping through the streets. The sound banging off the walls, the sunset, the great weather. It's really, really hard to beat that from an experiential standpoint. You really feel like, all right, this is happening. Like we're putting on a show. You know, we won the championship the last couple of years and Ryan won the, this event last year. So I think there's a pretty high expectation for us. This is a year to watch the most talented drifters in the world. Frederick Osbo defending the title. Matt Field, a championship contender last year. Three-time champion, Chris Forsberg, Vonkett Jr., Chelsea Denofa, and James Dean's back, man. How cool is that? And then you got Brian Turk, man. He wants a championship. He got number one qualifier, got the win, the perfect event last year. Can he do it again? Can we repeat? 100% we can. Just keep pushing. You know, the team and I have developed together. It's like everything that I need is getting put into this car. Yeah, there's nothing like driving such a well-prepped car that is capable of winning a championship and uh, that is so fine-tuned and, and almost an extension of yourself. Here we go, Ryan, sir. The judges want the wow factor high, and that makes the margin for error very small. He's exploding towards his first outside zone. Ooh. Perfect. Perfect. Yo, Ryan Turk is back at it. He wants it. He wants the championship that has escaped him. I let it all hang out, and it's definitely the one of the best laps, if not the best lap I ever had. 98.33. A damn near perfect score for Ryan Sir. Is this a master of Long Beach or what? <laughs> I'm taking my hat off for Ryan. That was amazing. Buddy, good job. I'm so proud of you, dude. Yeah. Crazy. Number one qualifier two years in a row. Everybody's stoked and makes you confident, but like you gotta even out the highs and the lows. And today's not the day that's gonna win you a championship. It's all about tomorrow. Who's gonna win the championship? Anybody can win, but the target, the star, is on Frederick Osmo's back. He's your three-time and defending former champion. Here we go, Frederick Osmo, your defending champion, going against Mike Power. Freddie's still sort of warming up. Frederick Osmo, not all the way to the outside zone three. Normal for him on the first weekend, he just starts off a little bit conservative. And he's not going all the way wide to the zones. I'll tell you right now, Frederick needs to step up if he wants to win this event. You're just not using the whole track. Yeah, copy that. I was a little bit stressed. I felt the pressure. That clearly what's going on if you're just not comfortable doing it. Yeah. And it could be that the car is just not comfortable for some reason. I think it's that. It's... Yeah. You've been anxious all week, so... Yeah. Um... There's just something about this first event of the season, but I'm starting to get comfortable. I'm starting to kind of feel one with the car. And now it's just resetting and uh, getting back on the horse and taking some names. Yeah. Ryan Turk, Jonathan Castro, we are ready to get at it. Oh, I'm just really pumped. I went out there and laid down a really good lead lap. I mean, Castro had a killer chase lap. Great way to start the top 16. Can you feel it? Stop your feet, Long Beach. Here we go, Jonathan Castro will lead. And then Castro made a mistake. We went, we went for a ride. Oh, oh no! But it worked out. No big damage on the cars. Ryan Turk moves on to the great date. That was a fun one. That was gonna be a banger for us. <laughs> Here we go. Ryan Turk has something to prove, man. You know, he ended up 
third overall last year, just behind Matt Field. But look at Ryan Turk. He won the championship. I mean, come on. That's a hard act to follow. I'm sorry, Hurst, but wow. Ryan Turk just punishing this track right now. Jonathan Hurst, Ryan Turk, who's coming out on top. So I just focus on my driving, my team, my car. Getting the car set up, being comfortable, being fast, trying to run good tandem, and hope it all works out in your favor. I mean, he's just on it. He is locked in like a track oh. of beam. Oh, boy. Tangled up. Hey, what happened? Oh, God damn it. So Turk just a bit too aggressive in that final turn. So Jonathan Hurst takes out Ryan Turk. Feels like it was taken away from us a little bit. The f so frustrating. You know, it's been so long of, of being kind of at the front of the pack and, and still not having a, a championship. So it's hard to keep that mental strength, you know? Uh, and I think that's been my downfall where I just let the pressure build up and end up making a stake like I did here at uh, Long Beach. I don't feel like we are the ultimate, the best. But I think we can be better than the rest when we have our day. Three-time champion James Dean going against uh, three-time champion Frederick Osbo. Come on, let's go. Whoa, James Dean explodes that back bumper into that second outside zone. Now he goes into that third. He knows who he's going against. Two good friends, two fierce competitors, and six championships between these two drivers. Wow. This is this is a, a absolute gladiator battle right here. We're doing it. Come on, guys. Who's gonna get the win? Who's moving on to the final four? Freddie gets intimate with the wall. One, two. And for me, it was one of those moments where I was able to step it up when it really mattered. He dialed in that third outside zone. That's what he's been. It's been escaping him all weekend. Wow. And Frederick Osbo gets the win. Yes. Yes! That win was huge. It was huge for not only me, but the, the team. It's a good one. Yeah. You're in the pedal commander burnout box. Matt Field, Frederick Osbo. This, again, is a grudge match. They saw battle last year, and it was pretty tumultuous for one of the two drivers. That was Matt Field. Freddie owned it. He felt bad. I'm not going to allow that to scare me from being aggressive out on track this year. All right, you guys ready to yell, send it! Here we go! Once we're out there on track, it turns into war. Frederick Osborne initiates, trying to get the outside zone. He taps him. Matt Field spins and goes into the wall. Matt Field spins and gets caught up in the smoke. You can see. Osbo just does a little tap, and Field just over-rotates the car as he comes around through outside zone one. We're reviewing the, the replay, and right as Osbo's tapping the wall in outside zone number one, his D-cell light comes on, which then puts the fault on Frederick Osbo. Matt Field will get the win. Some redemption for Matt Field after last year. It's funny, every time Matt and I meet up here, it, some sort of controversy happens, but being able to come out of it with a podium finish, it's, it's, a, it's a big relief. Your winner, Matt the Beast in the Bay Field! Do I think the rivalry with Matt Field will continue? Yes, <laughs> absolutely.